So I want to talk about this. This is Steve Harvey. He says there are many ways to serve God and keep your faith. Um, he's talking about we can live in harmony and much needed peace. We all crave globally. Now remember, I've been talking about globalism for a while. And so pretty much in this video, you know, he's been um, a, supposed to be like a Christian and stuff like that. He's been in a lot of different churches. But here he's pretty much saying, you know, like, well, there's many roads lead that lead to heaven. There's not just one. I mean, we see that here at the end. Let me see if we can hear a little bit of it. All right, play a little bit of it. If I could make myself successful, I would have done it a long time ago. So right there, he's talking about, you know, it's his faith that made him successful. And then uh, this is the part that really blew my mind, all right? There's a mosque. Uh, with the name Jesus on it, right? And they did this to be more inclusive, right? So I'm just let this play right here without the sound. I'll just show you. All right, so there's the mosque, Abu Dhabi, right? And it says it belongs to the people of the Islamic faith, but as a sign of tolerance. Remember, they like to use that word. This is supposed to be like a Christian church. They named the mosque Mary, the mother of Jesus Mosque. Did you see that? All right. Right there. Mary, the mother of Jesus mosque. And so, you know, Oprah and many other ones have been talking about this, uh, you know, many paths to God for many years. And me and many others have been warning about the fact that there's going to be a Christianity that is, you know, acceptable, especially in America. They're never going to just try to just do away with Christianity. You're not going to see the persecution um, of Christianity in America that you see in places like China or even Africa, where they're just, you know, killing Christians, shut up, you know, just silence the voice. In America, it's going to be more of a, this is the kind of Christianity that is acceptable. And the kind of Christianity that is acceptable, okay, um, you can't preach against sin. You can't, you can't say Jesus is the only way. Right. Like, so Steve Harvey saying, oh, yeah, you know, there's many ways to God. And then, you know, we already see this coming to pass with uh, Biden being in office. He had uh, some transgender people, uh, transgender preachers um, praying at the inauguration, inauguration and then um, some of the laws and legislation that are getting passed. And then they had one of the preachers up there. He wasn't uh, transgender, but he concluded the prayer. If you remember Paula White, uh, she uh, concluded the prayer, prayer in Jesus' name. And he included it, you know, something along the lines of, you know, in the name of our many great faiths or something like that. And so I want to talk about this because my goal, my heart is to wake people up and to help people to see. I don't think many people realize we are living in the end times. There's no doubt about it. That has always been my goal. Um, that's always been my heart behind everything that I've posted. And yes, you know, I wanted Trump to get in because I just wanted more time for people to just wake up and see. But clearly, you know, with the legislation and things that Biden is doing, you know, we're just going to have to be up against it. And there's nothing to say other than I've been, you know, warning about it warning people about it, warning the church about it for a long time. And now a lot of it is like, it's really right here. And I think in the next couple of months, you know, if things just don't change, you know, if God's not just giving us a peek and then he like changes some around and this is just the way that it is, people are going to start seeing the legislation actually, you know, affecting them. They don't think it affects them, but it will. And I give you an example, you know, the Christianity that's going to be acceptable is the kind of Christianity where they say, you know, hey, well, if a woman wants to be a man, or they think that they're a man, you need to accept that. It's tolerance, right? The mosque put Mary, the mother of Jesus, on the mosque for tolerance, right? So anybody who isn't tolerant is going to be uh, deemed as like an evil person that, you know, we need to censor, we need to quiet, we need to silence. And so what happens if some of these men start coming to your church and walking in the woman's bathroom during service while there are women in there while your daughters are in there so you know just it's, it's things that i think a lot of people are really not thinking about 
And that's the heart behind my post. Now, uh, I did hear a lot of people saying, hey, you know, Brother Marcus, he doesn't he doesn't use a uh, Bible in his videos. He's just talking his feelings. Anybody who knows the Bible knows that the Bible talks about in the last days, perilous times shall come. And the last days, you know, um, because people don't love the truth, God's going to send them strong delusions. Like the Bible talks about and warns about all of the things that I'm talking about. And so I don't really often think, oh, let me just break it down and do a Bible study in every video. <laughs> My hope is just to get people to see it because the truth will set you free. And maybe when people see it, they say, man, I, I, I need to wake up and I got to get a serious prayer life. I need to wake up and I need to get right with God. I need to make sure that I have a relationship because gone is, you know, that America where I could just have this kind of casual Christian life. Gone is the time where, you know, I could just kind of play both sides that it's just it's going away more and more. Uh, the more we progress, I said a couple weeks ago, we're on the train. We're not getting off. We are on the end times train. There's no doubt about it. And so you're going to have to decide what kind of Christian you're going to be. Are you going to be the Steve Harvey kind of Christian? Are you going to be that Hollywood type of Christian, the anything goes type of Christian? Or are you going to be a biblical Christian? Because everybody's a Christian in America until it gets biblical. And that's why people get mad. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. When you have a preacher that preaches from the Bible, it starts messing with people's feelings because they want to be a Christian according to how they want to be a Christian. But we have to be a Christian according to the word of God. All right. People getting all spiritual and all, you know, they feel this and they feel that doesn't matter. What does the Bible say? And I love you guys. Let's just stay praying. And um, I have a wonderful Sunday. We're going to have firehouse service today. I usually post the videos a week after i record them and then post them especially when i'm banned on social media so um www.marcusrogersministries.org love you guys have a wonderful day in jesus name